talk about specialized plant cells and let's talk about palisade cells. So palisade cells are going to be found predominantly in the leaves or any green part of the plant. And this is because they absorb sunlight. And the reason they do that is for a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the absorption of light and the use of carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose. And that glucose can then be used in respiration for a release of energy for the plant to then use. So our palisade cells, if we draw one, is going to look very much like our generic plant cell. So it's going to have all the same key features, all those seven components. It's going to have just drawing a mitochondria, so we've got a vacuole, our nucleus, our ribosomes, cytoplasm, cell membrane, cell wall. And then the key feature is the chloroplast. I'm going to draw that nice and large, really allude to it that the chloroplast is the key feature of this palisade cell. And it's going to have lots of these. And these chloroplasts absorb sunlight. They have a special pigment called chlorophyll, which is specially designed to, to absorb our light. And it's where our photosynthesis is going to take place. The other key notable feature about these cells is they're going to be very large cells and that's going to increase our surface area and if the large surface area means we can absorb more light. You'll find them in layers at the top of a leaf and that's everything you need to know about palisade cells.